Explore of Minmus! Hoorah! <laughs> Rescue Truffid from Orbit of Kerbin? Come on, we're past that. Orbit of the Moon, maybe. Position Satellite. So, like, let's just fly by Minmus. They aren't making us land yet. I like this. So, what my plan is, is my plan is I'm gonna position a satellite in an equatorial orbit of the Moon with a materials bay and a thermometer. And then we're going to fly by Minmus. I need to allow... I've got enough money now. Uh, I hate spending money though. But I'll take the patch conics. Uh, Minmus has that inclination. I don't want to mess with it. I mean, I could, but... Uh, and I want more contracts available. Equatorial, position of satellite. This is a weird inclination though, so it's not really easily compatible with this one. Okay, let's do that. So like, uh, we have flight planning available, so now we have maneuver nodes. It might have been amusing to see me try to do interplanetary transfers without maneuver nodes and patch conics, but... Why is the top of these all cut off? Is that because I forced GL core? I didn't notice that before I forced GL core. Standard sort of probe. We still have the 30 part limit though. So I gotta watch out for that. But this should be very light. We need to get out to Minmus, so I need two antennae. Maybe we'll need batteries because we don't have the pod. Do we have little engines yet? Do I have my ant engine? You know what? Okay, hold on. There we go. Actually, we could make this substantially more obnoxious if we want to. We should have fairings. Hold on. Is this coming back to Kerbin? Yeah. Yeah, we're intending to recover. Of course we gotta recover the Science Junior. Well, we're not gonna get all our science otherwise. Let's get fairings. That's the first fairing. We can get it right now. We don't need this airplane stuff. I want that heat shield though. Okay, let's make a robust one of these. Now, I'm gonna have to remember to do everything backwards. So that's gonna be fun. It's extra cost, but it's better than having two parachutes, I think. Maybe I should put them on the bottom, but then there's not a lot of space. Only 700 meters per second like that. Oh, we don't want to block the materials bay door. Yeah, the heat shield does have a lot. Let's cut that in half. 900 meters per second. It's not bad. I think we can roll with it. I mean, it's not, it's not a huge, huge probe. And it's best to bring as much as we can back, so... That will be enough to make orbit around Minmus and break orbit around Minmus if we want to. Or we could do the transfer to Minmus and come back if we're just doing a flyby. That should do. So we've got 3,000 there. And what we're doing is... We've got the materials bay, we got a thermometer. We need to get to this orbit with antenna. We got antenna and power. And uh, that's that. And then it'll transfer to Minmus and do all that business. It's more than enough as it is. Um, we need about, let's say 1000 to transfer just for buffer and then 500 to get into exactly that orbit buffer. And then the probe itself can get itself to a Minmus flyby and back to Kerbin. So, we I mean, only need 1,500 of this stage in order to do the business. And so, we've got about 1,500 in that stage to complete orbit. Almost, uh, we could do the Soyuz thing, nearly. How much thrust to weight ratio does this have? Is it worthwhile making a Soyuz? Hmm. It's probably not worthwhile, but it might be fun anyway. I mean, we don't have the right engines. We don't have the Soyuz engines yet, but... 
like an it's probably it's got too much of a part count okay well gonna use this method again I don't have the engine plate I don't have I still don't have the engine plate right oh I do have the engine plate hmm but why <laughs> when I can do this I don't know about tucking in a tank, so I'm gonna empty that fuel tank. I don't know which would be less mass. How heavy is the engine plate? It claims to be 0.013 tons, but I don't believe it. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, maybe we should do it. Uh, all right, I'll be, I'll be good. It's crappy TWR, but I think we can manage. But uh, is it gonna be stable on the launch pad as it is? Because we can't really put launch clamps. Maybe the old Oscar B thing is a bad, a bad idea. Because we're taking up part count like that. Oh, screw it. Let's just try it. I don't... It's been so long since I played stock, I don't know if this is gonna topple or not. Well, there is one way to find out. But let's not find out spending too long on here. Um, it's good enough. Go! <laughs> go, go. Still went steeper than I probably ought to have, but I uh, was afraid of it toppling and all. I don't know how the fairings work these days. Yeah, actually, I don't think I've ever, in any flight simulator, tried to fly a plane with a keyboard. My uncle introduced me to flight simulators when I was seven, and he had a little dinky joystick, and it's been dinky joysticks ever since. Never one of the fancy joysticks. Good enough. I guess I can I can actually plot maneuvers now. Oh, unless we don't have communication. Not too sure what the point is there since we can't execute the maneuver without communication anyway, but unlock the maneuver node bottom left. What do you mean? I don't I haven't even used this thing before. My my orbit already is where I want it. Uh, well, I guess I guess we can. All right. I mean, since we're supposed to get into this particular orbit. Oh, and we're going around the wrong way, aren't we? All right, all right. We have a reason. I'm just doing the same thing I always do anyway. Yeah, I, I understand. I've used. They just copied it off of MegJeb anyway, so or Precise Node. It's not like I haven't used these before. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I, yeah, I, it's not as novel for me as it might be for somebody who's only ever played stock. New noobs are born every minute. I don't know, I think the general noob production has overall tapered out. It was... The noob birth rate has declined. I need commsats. Docking is now noob proof? How is that possible? Well, we've done a bad thing. I should have. Okay, shut down. So much for counting down and doing an accurate burn thing. Launch. What? Multitasking? Nonsense. I don't have curb alarm clock. I'm not allowed to multitask. Should be all right. Wait, backspace doesn't bring me back to my craft. Wait, what's the button for that now? I thought, uh, you know, I focused on the moon. Now I want to go back to my craft. It used to be backspace would get you back to it. They changed that. Key bindings. I copied my settings file, so it should be the same key binding. 
try Tilda. Tilda works. That's a good theory, Mr. Doobie. And you know what? I, I want to strand more tourists on Lathe. Now that you mention it, that's a good idea. It's a good way to start a colony, all right. But the problem is you fail contracts, and I don't like failing contracts. Make more tourists or kill each other? Well, I mean, that's that's KSB2. That's Kerbal Babies. Compulsory vacation colony? Hotel California. <laughs> we call it the Hotel California. All right. Time to fly by Mimis. And the only reason I'm, I didn't make a craft to do more around Minmus is because they didn't give me money for it. They, the only thing in the Explore Minmus contract that we're able to do is the Explore Minmus part. Uh, the Flyby Minmus part, I mean. So... Not my fault. This doesn't have plus and minus buttons, though. You can type things in, but it doesn't have plus or minus buttons. And then you can't see the numbers when you're in this view. All right. Yes, that's what I wanted. We can still do it on this stage. We can correct it a little bit later. Let's do the first burn to exit the moon first. This had a uh, science genie. I don't think we've done science genie around the moon, but we'll just keep it for Minmus. I assure you that if I forget to implement any tip, it's probably because I completely forgot about it. <laughs> well, yeah, this fuel look. Yeah, no, it's fine though. We got the probes fuel. The only problem with the probes fuel is that we're gonna have to. Remember, all we're doing is fly by Minmus, so not a big deal. Um, no problem with the probes fuel is I have to use it backwards, right? The, it's got backwards facing thrusters, so we're gonna have to watch out for that. We have not lost any Kerbals so far. We have picked up a Moonstone. I didn't even know there were Moonstones, but we picked one up. It looked a lot bigger than Valentina, but somehow Valentina fit into her backpack, and I was very impressed. Okay... It's reasonably... Okay, if we pirouette a little bit, that'll be good for the sunlight. All right. Communications is still really too excellent. I should have just put one antenna. I probably shouldn't like make orbit around Minmus until like they pay me. We've done the flyby already. We'll get the science, of course, but will this fling us out, or this will fling us out? So if I pull it onto the other side, we could dispose of the stage by crashing it into Minmus. That might be a good idea. It's almost done. So okay, we'll crash the stage into Minmus. Pretend it's a seismic test even though we don't have seismometers on Minmus. We are we're making our first flyby of Minmus in stock career 1.8. Just gonna bring it straight back because they're not paying me to make orbit around Minmus and I'm adamant about not doing things that I'm not getting paid to do. Okay. And then if you start working for free, they 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 expect more and more of that. It's a slippery slope. Uh, I'll do Science Junior at high over Minmus. Oh, I, that's just opening the doors. Keep. So, we'll get a low over Goo, but we won't get low over it uh, of everything else. On the bright side, uh, passing by Minmus on this side means we'll maintain communication. Okie dokie. Yet another Goo. So, well, we've done what science we can. Um, if I burn this way to bring down the periapsis right now, let's see. This will be coming in hot. That'll do, though. Ah, we packed too much fuel as usual. 
Hopefully this one uh, one uh, parachute can handle it. Hmm. Oh, you know, once we get there, we should dump the fuel by decelerating, just to make it lighter. So, before we actually enter Kerbin's atmosphere, we're going to want to run the engines to use up the fuel. Can I, uh, pre prepare the parachute before we, like, lose communication? Yes? No, that, that's the thing these days. So when I say deploy shoot, it'll automatically deploy when safe, yeah. So it's it's an armed thing, alright. Um, let me see, minimum pressure though, let's go for 0.2-ish. Better. Alright. So, in order to keep our periapsis safe, we want to pitch up from retrograde, but it's not this way. Because the thrusters are backwards, so it's prograde, and we would want to pitch down from prograde. Gosh darn it, this makes it a lot. 0.4? Oh, oh well. Uh, let's put the difference and call it 0.3. <laughs> I don't like the whole plunging and nearly dying thing. Need more video RAM? I thought it was more of a CPU game, but... I mean, the stock game shouldn't be too heavy on video RAM. The mods are a little bit different though. If you use a lot of mods, you need video RAM. But, uh, you know, you can play the game at lower texture levels too. They have options in the settings. I'm not confident that this little guy can flip around to retrograde all on its own. So I would like to uh, handle that before we lose communication. Really stretched right now. The there's a horizon issue here. Okay, we expended the fuel. Gonna set. Well, I can't really set. Oh god, we lost communication already. God, it's so close. All right. Um, this is not good. <laughs> this is not the orientation I wanted. Oh. Let's see if we can pick it up again. Oh, there we go. It can't really hold surface retrograde and prime it. But this core is not not at that level. Hopefully we'll pass these mountains. Well, let's see if the parachute does its thing. There's a... There's a thing right there. No, I don't... I don't care about you. No. What is that? That... Is that a Kerbin rock? What is that over there? Oh! ah! I was so focused on the other thing, I let... We still got the texture twitchiness. Hmm... Oh, well, don't worry, we fulfilled the contracts. But, but yeah, boy, that science junior is dainty. Right. How fast were we going? I wasn't even paying attention. I thought we had the parachute out and it was gonna be alright. Ejected the heat shield? I usually let the heat shields ablate. 5.7? The heat shield should have been safe too. Why are you... Why do we need to dish the heat shield? I want to recover the heat shield. Hmm. 5.7 should have been safe. I think it was because I was in time warp, physical time warp. It's a new science tree? There's, there's more than one now. Hmm. Should we leave the probe here to mark the location and send a mission over? Where are we? It's pretty far from the KSC, isn't it? I haven't done airplanes. It's like the opposite side of the globe. I think we could find trees uh, close to the location. Uh, so I'm not gonna recover just that just yet. 
I want I want to I want to see about things. There's no you know there's no requirement that I recover it. Then the science junior is gone. So or maybe I can just I don't know. Can we see the fuel tank separately from the probe core in this? Let me see. Got all these debris. Maybe some. Maybe one of them is the probe. This is the. It says landed on currency. It was safe. That's probably the probe core. It probably has a science in it. So let me recover that. Yeah. Yeah, we got some science. We didn't get the science junior though. All right, orbit minimus. Now they're paying us to orbit minimus. We'll take that. Um. Yeah, there's no ground. You know, survey this or do ground stuff around Kerbin on that. There's a position satellite in Keosynchronous Orbit though. We need commsats. Mystery goo. Why do we need a mystery mystery goo on a commsat, huh? By the way, that's not a Keo that's a very wide range for Keosynchronous Orbit. <laughs> and technically we want zero degrees instead, but whatever. I be picky. Um, we do we have a relay dish? I don't remember picking up a relay dish. This is a relay. It's not a very good relay though. And this is a better relay. How far can that one go? Mm, if we upgrade, we upgraded to a level two on the tracking station, so that's five hundred thousand kilometers. That's obviously gonna cover the... Let me see. How far out is Duna anyway? We need Duna. But I'm not gonna toss up a commsat that can't communicate with Duna. Duna's at an altitude of 21 million kilometers. So the maximum distance to it is 21 million plus Kerbin's altitude, 13 million. So 30, 35 to give buffer. 35 million if they are across from each other. This this one can't even do it. This only does 22 million kilometers. Well, I guess the long and short of it is that we really don't need better engines or anything to get to Duna. We do need better comms. The question was, it seems to me by my math that uh, we need relay dishes of this level in order to communicate from Duna. That uh, the dishes here, this one and this one, can't reliably communicate from Duna if there's just one of them. So we need to launch a commsat. Yeah, I keep the science in reserve. Uh, we don't need any of this business. And we don't have the good dishes. We'll just make do with what dishes we've got for the commsat. I don't know why the tops of those are cutting off. I mean, uh, weirdly, when you think about it, milking the KSC science takes longer than just getting something to curb an orbit and uh, getting science there, and and you get less science out of it. Um, so what else did it want? It wanted a mystery goo unit for some reason, and a thermometer. I don't want more than one goo unit when I don't even want a goo unit on this thing. ESPN74, thank you for following. I mean, yeah. So, I want to make an asymmetrical sort of situation. Now that should bring the center of mass close. It's not quite, because these are a little bit heavier. You'll have to offset them a little bit. Now that can get off the ground. Those are spark engines, yeah. Shrimp? Jumbo shrimp. <laughs> Sparky? Eh, that's too obvious. Jumbo shrimp. Alright. Off we go. Let's see if there's enough delta V to do that keel stationary, well, keel synchronous satellite. Okay. Launch. The Spark engine remains underappreciated. I should have time warp to daylight though. It is. It's got a good thrust to weight ratio. Intrinsic thrust to weight ratio. Uh, I turned a little bit too quickly. This is a problem. 
The two bigger SRVs have gimbal? That's nice. Now they just need, like, double the thrust. <laughs> the flames, look at that. I did a bad thing with this. Okay, we're probably gonna want this one first. Oh my god, what happened? Um... Guys? Why? Why did it do that? That's because I had the fairing on, right? That's because I had the fairing on. Of course I did. No, it was because I had the fairing on. I, well, why, why would I think that I could get it off with the fairing on anyway? I'm just being silly. I think this is our first... No, this is not our first disaster. But, uh, except for the spin stabilization thing. I did check my staging, but I, I checked it the wrong way. Put a little twitchy thing. So wants to get free. This is a little bit disturbing. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I don't like this. This is a bad idea. There's, there's no gimbling on this guy. But this is this is bound to be cheaper. So which one? Pollux. Hey, um, I approve of a Pollux booster. That's big. Neither of these seems to have any gimbling. So it's the even bigger ones that have gimbling. Thoroughbred. This one has gimbling. Finally. So none of the old ones have gimbling. <laughs> Uh, they didn't add gimbling to any of those. They decided to create new ones that have gimbling. Oh look, it's an SSTO. <laughs> uh. Okay, SAS on and launch and throttle up. <laughs> oh, maybe I should drink some more coffee. Oh, ah! First flip. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, uh, no. Back, 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 come on, come on, come on. Yeah, okay. Okay. Maybe I should, like, play something else for a little while. <laughs> this is uh, a loud flip. It's okay. And fairings. I thought I put clamshell, but maybe not. Sort of like 2001 A Space Odyssey, where that bone- was it a bone that got tossed up by the cave people or whatever? Sort of like that. Looks pretty good for a little satellite that was haphazard. Look at this, this looks like a proper space vessel. Vessel. Okay, so we need to get into that orbit. And we are here. And so we want we want to hit that ascending node right there. So basically we can start burning soon. Oh we we've lost communication. <sighs> well hopefully with this satellite losing communication will be a thing of the past. Something like that. Alright, we'll we'll burn from there up to that descending node. That's how it'll work. At least they didn't want a retrograde orbit. I would not put the contracts put it past the contract system to ask for a retrograde keosynchronous orbit. Is it good enough? It's good enough. We are maintaining stability. And we've done it. Orbit Minimus. Minimus. Uh, far away from Minimus are we? Might be that if only I didn't make that flip it would have worked out. The question is are we gonna have enough to make orbit? The situation will be better if uh, 
we get close, but we don't want to spend too much Delta V trying to get close. Oh, that's getting there. Alright, well, let's see. How much would it actually take to make orbit then? Do we have enough spare? Oh. Seems like it. Alright. This probe is ready for a twofer. <laughs> it can do it. Is it a good idea to make it a relay satellite around Dune, uh, around Minmus? Might not be a bad thing as long as it's inclined like this. Uh, it might be blocked by Minmus a little bit at a time. I mean, it's sort of more useful here, but it might be useful there. I mean, we're gonna be doing Minmus things anyway. Oh. No, it did that. What I wanted to see was how far off I was on placing the ant engine. Because this is imbalanced after all, and I shifted the ant engine down a bit. That'll that'll be clear of Inmus for most of the time. We're not gonna recover the goo. Um we all we have otherwise is a thermometer. I guess we can transmit it. That'll be good enough. Okay, got that contract done. It says we're recharging, but I don't think this is a good orientation to recharge. Let's get this back over here. Now, now it looks like it's some sort of orbital laser trying to zap, especially with the glowing red uh, nozzle there. Ready to zap Minmus to get mint ice cream. Anyway, Space Center. We need more contracts.